Okay, welcome back everybody to another MTGO League. Gonna be running more four color, sorry, five color mid range through in Pioneer uh, today. Um, pretty much the same list as before. Gonna be, we have got a combat celebrant in the sideboard, which is a combo with uh, Carry At It and Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Eventually, it's quite a slow one, but it can be can be helpful. Um, so yeah, we're gonna keep this hand. Um, yeah, turn two Carry At It, turn three Fable potentially. So yeah, big thanks to everyone for watching and massive thanks to everyone that subscribed recently. Hit 600 subscribers the other day, which is absolutely awesome. Um, so yeah, big, big, big thanks. Okay, so Watery Grave Tap, not quite sure what this uh, signifies. Could be quite a few people playing Rogues at the moment. Um, so it could be, could be that or could be the new um, combo deck running around the Rona combo. Right. So we draw a Leyline Binding, which isn't, the, well, it's not too bad. Uh, we haven't actually got white mana at the moment, but see what the opponent's up to. So yeah, Watery Grave, and they don't shock one in. So we'll just go, I think we'll just go Forest Caryatid. Don't really want to play the swamp in case we draw Omnath. Opponent considers. Oh, so it could also be the um, Attracts and Neo form. Not the Drown Catacombs. It could also be uh, Control. Okay, so we'll go play the land, play another carrier. Hmm. I think we'll go Courier's Briefcase first. I'd quite like to resolve that over Caryatid. In case they've got, um, this is just in case they've got Make Disappear. Make a 1-1. One, one. Don't know, maybe this is playing too much into a Wrath, but. Okay, the Shark Typhoon. It's fine. Okay, binding. So we'll attack for one. Annoying not to hit a land there. Okay, opponent trades off the shark. Fable. If this doesn't resolve, we'll probably cast Fable with the briefcase. But it does resolve, so we can just pass the turn. Opponent deluges. Okay, pass again. Probably going to discard. It's probably Ellis Norn. Okay. Could just hold up here and draw three cards with a briefcase. So I think we'll get rid of one binding, one Norn. Okay, they're not great. I'll play the land. Fable number two resolves, and then I think I'm just gonna play the next fable as well. Go and get a planes. If they censor this, we'll uh, cash in the briefcase, I think. Okay, so do counter another one. We've got a big board presence, but only two cards in hand. Definitely gonna get rid of the hostage taker from this other fable. Opponent doesn't shock in. Okay, well, that's a good draw. Just 
discarding we could discard binding as well but just in case they play Narset or something I think we can just pass the turn here actually okay power word kill is fine uh, do we want to hold I think I'll hold the Beseju because one of their main win cons is either hard casting shark typhoon or um, what's it called? Uh, Lair of Storm Giants, Hall of Storm Giants. Okay, so we'll go this, 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 and this. We've got binding open in case they've got something like uh, Notion. Is it Notion Thief? Yeah. Okay. So they do have the fabled passage up. Um, so they can push onto. They haven't got enough to deluge this turn. I think I'm just going to go another fable. <laughs> or do we Omnath? Copy this. As soon as we try and copy this, they'll just go fetch push. I think I'm just going to go for another fable. Fable number four. Negate. Sure. Okay, so let me just play the island. Pass the turn. Okay, so this is going to be push probably. Dig through time, okay. So yeah, at the end of the opponent's turn, provided they don't do anything, obviously, they haven't got any way to enable revolt at the moment, but cycling Shark Typhoon for zero does give revolt. Destroy all creatures, uh, okay. Not the most commonly played card there. They have got three mana up for a counter spell, but they've been through a few of those. Let's try for this Omnath. I guess we could play a land, but I don't think so. Yep, they counter. Oh, make disappear. Okay, we did have the land. Um, I think we'll play the tap land. Oh yeah, we should have played the Pesagey there. Play around that, make disappear. I think it's going to be quite hard to come back now. I suppose Slaughter Games can do something. One, three, four. I could get rid of... What are their win cons? It's like Shark Typhoon. I think I'm just going to Slaughter Games Shark Typhoon. Pick up Gigantha. They've used one Shark Typhoon. We could do Memory Deluge as well. There is one in the graveyard. Um, let's go Shark Typhoon. That actually wins them the game. One, two, three. So how can they win the game now? They have one Hall of Storm Giant. One Urtai. Uh, I mean, it's going to be pretty hard for them to win. So, yeah, I don't think we're going to use the. I don't think we're going to get rid of this Beseju. You know, they only have two win cons left. We've got three ways of dealing with Urtai. Uh, and a potentially uncounterable way to deal with um, the Hall. We're going to have to play fairly quickly, though. Could 
yeah, good, good getting that that information. Okay, so opponent's turn. There's a field of ruin. We have got a basic mountain left to go and get if we need. Well, let's bring to light, but there's no way that's resolving. So I think we'll wait, just cast Giganther. Sure, we'll go and get Mountain. That Giganther. See, so yeah, what I'm thinking is, you know, the opponent's gone so much further through their deck than we have. If we just kill their Hall of Storm Giants, they probably can't win the game. Okay, they cling to dust, which is fine. Yeah, not only I lost four minutes of my clock due to Modo crashing at the beginning. Okay, let's pass the turn here. Fable Passage. Well, into Narset. Well, there's another dig through time. Okay, so they got six cars in hand. There's a Temple Garden. Shock that in. Um, I guess we'll actually just wait here. No point in um, no point in leyline binding on our turn. I've got another dig through time which they can do here. Okay, another cling to dust is fine. I'm happy for them to keep drawing cards. <laughs> Okay, so that's ley line binding. Blue black not the best historically at dealing with uh, enchantments. Might go for a gigantha here. Or an on math. One, two, three, four, one, two. Mm. Let's go gigantha. Well, it resolves, surprisingly. Oh, this is going to edict it. Fine. But yeah, we need to, to grind through that at some point. It's going to be a, another dig through time. Yeah, just clinging to this besiege you like... A <laughs> Yeah. Okay. As soon as they play the the hall, we'll just uh, go ahead and besiege you it. Okay, opponent can wasteland us here. One, two, but. Okay, one, two, three, four. Are they going to field over it? Yeah, it looks like it here. Uh, that's fine. We have no. Here, okay. So we just—I think we'll just try this Omnath now. I've only got fourteen cards left. Okay, they counter. They put one on top, which I suppose we have to assume is probably. Uh, well, I don't know. It's either a draw spell or they're looking for Hall of Storm Giants. Okay, there's Hall of Storm Giants. Yeah, let's go ahead and besage you that right now. Oh, that's rough. Oh, that's really rough, actually. Ooh, 
okay. <laughs> well, we've got ourselves uh, a game again, which is a little bit unfortunate. Okay, we'll draw Courier's Briefcase. So there's no way Bring to Light will resolve. I wonder if I'm meant to just concede here. So let's go Courier's Briefcase. There's the negate, so we don't know what's in the opponent's hand now. Um, I think it's time to go for bring to light. If this doesn't resolve, we pretty much have to... Oh, it's bloody sensor. Oh, we should have played the land there. I, di I didn't... Ex we haven't seen any sensors. Should have played that. Yeah, the shame land after uh, after getting censored. So yeah, we probably can't deal with this Hall of Storm Giants now. Okay. So, opponent's got four cards in hand. There's no real way to catch back up. I don't think that's going to hit us with a storm giant hall of storm giants three times to win the game. I've got a really bad record uh, uh, with a uh, with this deck against control. Okay, well, I guess we're just slamming now. Okay, well, yeah, that, that play, not playing around sensor there was a problem. I don't know what we go and get though. Um, right. <laughs> so, bank busters in. Needle's not amazing. It's okay. Stain for straight's probably in. Dovin's Veto is definitely in. Change the rocks all out. Um, there's not much we want to binding. Slaughter Games nearly got there there, but I don't, I, uh, I mean it could be okay. What would we prefer it over? We don't want the veneer, we might want the needles. They only had one, maybe we, maybe we do bring in the needles. Vito's good, all this stuff's good. Oh, we, uh, yeah, we don't need, gl oh, they were running Ritual of Soot. Hostage Taker's obviously not great, and Slaughter Games, maybe we just bring in two needles. Could bring in the celebrant, but it probably well, celebrant's not bad here because let's go, let's go down to oh no, no, it's not games. Um, we'll go down to one. Oh, we haven't got the disdainful stroke in, but what do we see? Yeah, we, we probably do want the disdainful stroke, maybe at the expense of one carry at it. Let's try that. Um, so the celebrant here they can they can push it, but they need revolt. It's not as it's but it's better than um. In the red matchups, where you know it's only got one toughness, so okay, so this is probably fine. Yeah, not playing around that sensor was just <laughs> pretty rubbish. Um, right, we'll play the forest one out first, I think. We'll probably pithing needle this coming turn. I wonder if we pithing needle shark typhoon, it's not the worst idea. Play this pithing needle. Yeah, we'll pithing needle shark typhoon here. Make them not be able to, to do that. Double binding's a bit awkward. Don't know if we play Fable here, if we just buy Gigantha. Might go ahead and just buy Gigantha. Okay, with that draw, yeah, we'll go ahead and... They have to have exactly... Set. Oh no, they could have Negate, I suppose. Let's buy Gigantha. And this turn we'll go Fable... Fable... Fabled Fable? 
Okay, Caryatid actually makes me want to play that. So we'll go land Caryatid. I guess they're unlikely to counter this. Then next turn we can play around make disappear on the fable. I'd be surprised to see a field of ruin activation here. So just gonna get a planes, I think. See what it does. Another field of ruin. So they are attacking our mana a little bit here. Okay, draw. Didn't mind a land. Uh, shield is easy. Okay, so land would be good. Okay, it's a land, which is nice. So I'll just go this, this, this. Like I'm pretty sure they've got negate or something here. Yeah. Okay. So they cycle sensor. So we did well to play around that this time. Fool me once and all that. Um, okay. So they miss a land though. Okay. Besides you. Oh, okay, so here I think I'm just going to discard double binding. Okay, Dovin's veto is nice. So, what do we do here? Why don't we go Omnath? Yeah, let's go Omnath. We can then Dovin's veto and then we can make loads of mana and bring to light as well. Island. Uh, this would have to go and get island, which is fine. So if they counter here, we're... Ooh, Urtai. Okay, that's <laughs> actually really quite annoying because we can't veto that. We draw a bring to light, though. Play this. Uh, we don't have anything to do. That's fine. Um, is that counter target spell? Yeah. I guess they shock in. Okay, so we'll just keep attacking with the goblin. Wouldn't be surprised to see them block here. And now we can one, two, three, four, five, six. So we can bring to light, hold up veto, which I think is what we'll do. What would we go and get? I think it's just Valky here. Uh, Island Swamp. Could go and get Omnath. See if it resolves. Um, okay, so the field of ruin will go and grab an island. But that does use some of their mana. Okay, let's do it veto here. Uh, this, this. Okay, so we go get Omnath and bring to light, I think. Because we haven't played a land yet. One, two, yeah. So go get Omnath. Play our land. Fetch Swamp Bring to light again for 
Valky. Cast Tibble. Plus. Yeah. Opponents had enough. So that was obviously an amazing turn. Um, okay, so do we want to change anything? I don't think so. The Pithing Needle on Typhoon was interesting. Um, do we want Elish Norn? I mean, they probably struggled to kill it, but I don't think we're ever going for it. I think we'll just ship it back. You know, if we naturally draw Elish Norn, that's pretty good. I don't think we'll ever bring to lighting for it, but yeah, hopefully this is fine. See if we can beat our control nemesis. Just um, yeah, we're having real problems beating control with this deck. I don't know this here. Blue white has been very popular, and I've really struggled with that. Um, I know they can just go over the top of you. I think it gets better post sideboard when you get your your counter spells and your bank busters. I think blue black is maybe a tad easier, although they do have more ways of interacting with our caryatids as we saw that game. We have cut one. Okay, on the draw. This okay. Um like this hand isn't the best. Like having Valky in here isn't great. The disable stroke's fine, but we're not doing anything for ages. I think we're gonna mulligan this looking for yeah, this is much better. So we'll keep, I think I'm just going to bottom the binding. Oh, we're on the play. Um, okay, so I guess we just lead off with planes. And then Beseju, I think we're just going to take the opportunity to get the bank buster down. Like a little bit annoying here, obviously, because we've got these two fables. We can't um, can't play fable next turn. Okay, well, I kind of think we just go land, go start drawing cards with Bankbuster. Well, maybe we shouldn't have played the Sun Petal Grove there. It makes Omnath quite awkward. Okay, they cycle the Typhoon, which may indicate they don't have any mana. Yeah, I love Bank Buster though, it's been really, really good. They could play Narset, I suppose, which would potentially stop us drawing with Bank Buster, although we can do it in their turn. Okay, let's go this. Extra cards are always good. Annoying though, <laughs> hitting all of our green and white stuff. Um, okay, so let's go Courier's Briefcase. And then we'll probably just shock in the Temple Garden. Playing this before I land doesn't play around make disappear but if they counter this we just go land play another one ether gust okay we'll um go ahead and bottom that shock this in could just play another one now that it's more likely to resolve yeah for some reason they didn't want that to resolve I guess they might be thinking we're short on colours. But yeah, this is it's fine. <laughs> so 
So this turn will go attack. Oh, okay. Uh, wasn't expecting that really. So another bank buster is interesting. Land. Go mountain. Play the fable. Eats in a gate. So, do we just play the other bank buster while we can be sure it's going to? Yeah, I think we'll just play the other bank buster while we know it's going to uh, resolve. And then we just we can just keep passing the turn back then, drawing loads of cards with our bank busters. And then eventually with our career's briefcase. Quite a pause from the opponent here. We can also buy Gigantha. But we don't quite have enough mana to buy Gigantha and activate both bank busters here. Might actually activate bank buster at sorcery speed. See what we can draw. Okay, there's a NAR set, which is slightly irritating. Okay, they find Mystical Dispute as well. <laughs> uh, let's see what we draw. Okay, Sacred Foundry is not the one. So... Hmm. That Narset is actually really, really quite good. One, two, three. So we'll just go add Gigantha. Play the land. Then we'll try, yeah, we'll draw a card with Bank Buster. Yeah, opponent gets their, their two cards out of Nasa though. Power Word, kill as well. Ooh, and an Ashiok. Okay, that's a bit of a weird choice against us, I suppose. Um, just because it doesn't... Okay, okay, I guess it stopped... Well, actually, does it stop Bring to Light? Yeah, it does, yeah. Okay, so some annoying sideboard cards here to grind through. So we'll draw a card here. Carry at it, not the best. Another bank buster. So we, I think we go Gigantha, one, two, three, four, five. Crew bank buster attack. I'm sure they haven't left in fatal push. I mean, they might have done. Crew three. Attack. I think it's just Narset here. Clear the citizen token out the way. And then are we cashing in? I think we'll cash in for this. Because we're not going to be able to draw cards yet anyway. Maybe we should have just drawn a card with Bank Buster there. Yeah, probably should have just done that to it so that we could have animated the other one with um Nice power word kill. They've still got dispute up. Okay. Not looking too good for us here. Draw for turn. Ketri Triome. So that is pretty blank at the moment. Yeah. 
I mean, it, yeah, we can play it as a land hit like there, but um, yeah, these two planeswalkers, I don't, yeah, like Ashiok is probably fine against us. But um, yeah, narset has been quite a pain, especially when we're on the bank buster plan. It's got five cards in hand. We only know one of them. This turn we'll go activate this bank buster. Okay, they hit that, so we'll I guess get swamp. Just in case we draw. Oh, we haven't actually got oh, we haven't actually got island. I guess we do with this Sylvan carry at it. We should have got island there. Notably can't search with this fabled passage. Okay, shock in a land. So they've probably got quite a few bits here. They could have a tie, I suppose. Okay, so let's activate this one. If something like Urtai they could counter the ability I guess but well stroke's not too bad each opponent sacrifices a creature token okay briefcase um i guess we just cast it struggling to get yeah creatures onto the field cuz yeah we we can't activate the courier's briefcase here Oh, I'm just going to counter that while we can. Um, this, this. Okay, don't want to yield here because end of turn we need to draw a card with Bank Buster. Actually, Citizen Token does threaten Narset as well, which is nice. There's a hall. Only three cards in the hand for the opponent. We know one of them's dispute, which isn't great now we know about it. Okay, Ashiok goes to one. What have they milled? Oh, there's two Omnaths in there. Okay, let's do this. Okay, binding is interesting. Let's binding the. I mean, assuming this resolves, which. Well, they might just cash in their mystical dispute here. Maybe we should have cast this in our turn. Probably binding the Nars set is the one we really want to kill. Yeah, should have binding it in our turn. I suppose it gives us a chance now if we draw something to... Okay, so we can't do that. So now we're just going to go attack... We'll attack Narset. would quite like to use all of these bank busters. another bank buster I 
we're not out of this. So if we go activate this bank buster, we'll then have to be player land. Oh, we can't play the Fable Passage anyway. So you got, I think that's fine, and then we can just. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana, which is enough to bank buster and career's briefcase. We definitely want to bank buster. We saw that they only have one NAR set. Okay, so that's well we'll do this one I think. Green uh, all of those things, blue black draw three cards activate this one okay we find a load of omnaths okay so let's activate this one to make the pilot and then we'll crew the other bank buster with the pilot we are in danger of running out of time here. I'm going to attack Ashiok. Opponent could activate Hall to kill something, but then. Then have we got any basics left? I suppose we better check if they've all been exiled. They haven't. So we can go Omnath here. Okay, so kill that. This. Omnath. Oh, okay, so I think we can still do it. I'm running out of time, though. Bring to light. I think we'll just go and get Valky, although he might have been exiled, but don't really want to take a load of time debating. Okay, negate, it's fine, pass the turn. They've got a reasonable board now. Uh, next turn. Don't know what we're doing. Probably similar again. Five mana for the opponent. They've got two cards in hand, we don't know either of them. They've got, I think they've got, yeah, they've got a deluge in the graveyard. This turn we're just going to go um, we can only activate one bank buster could be another deluge, could be dig through time which would be pretty rough for us here. Oh no, shark typhoon, okay sure. Make a 3-3 three, three shark. Draw a card. Okay, Devon's Veto is really nice. Okay, bring to light. Let's crew with the pilot. Attack with everything. See what the opponent's got. And play the land. Bring to light. Um, 
I'll just get Valky, I think. See how this goes. I think we're we'd probably win this. I don't know if we're gonna be able to on time is the problem. Ah, Hullbreaker Horror. Okay, so then we have to do it again. Uh, I don't think we're going to have time, unfortunately. Hopefully, we've got something here to get rid of the whole breaker horror. We don't, but we can escape to the wilds. Uh, cast this binding, I guess. Get rid of the hull breaker horror. Play the combat celebrant. Don't think we're gonna have enough time, unfortunately. Okay, well, we got 16 seconds. Like, I, obviously, I think I th I'm pretty confident we win this game. We've got. Got enough oh, opponent field of ruining us, yeah, just to use more time, unfortunately. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's unfortunate. Like, we lose on, yeah, it's because I, um, my Modo crashed at the start and then we lose because of that, but we would have got there, I think. Um, uh, yeah. Unfortunate, but um, yep, yeah, let's move on to round number two. Right, we have ourselves a mulligan here. Round number two, after that annoying loss to uh, control, round number round number one. Uh, we'll keep this one. Uh, bottom the basic mountain, I think. Then just try and go turn two, briefcase, turn four, bring to light. Although it looks like we're going to get thought seized. See the opponent takes here. Depends if they've got another thought seize for our bring to light, I suppose. Okay, so they take the briefcase, which probably means there's going to be another thought seize in our future somewhere. Okay, so now we've drawn binding, we want to make sure we can play that next turn. Florence Plains Island. So we can't, unless because this all has island in and we don't have the basic so um, I guess we just play yeah we'll play the forest in case we draw caryatid or briefcase okay looks like mono maybe mono black okay slaughter games um, let's just go, um, yeah, let's play this one, get the mountain down in case we draw Fable. Field of Ruin, eh? Liliana, okay. <clears throat> so we'll probably discard the Slaughter games. And I think we're probably going to have to binding the Liliana. So it looks like mono black here. Take our take two here. Okay, planes. So we'll play this. Do we want the opponent to just make themselves discard? No, because we've got just enough lands here to um just enough lands to cast this bring to light. 
I mean, I'm assuming there's a thought season in the opponent. Another Liliana. <laughs> okay, we'll discard this planes, I think. Okay, Xander's Lounge. So, what we'll do is we'll play that, we'll buy Gigantha, and then, short of anything else happening, we'll. Um, Discard Gigantha, and then we can bring to light for something. Not sure what yet. <laughs> um, we could go and get the other side of Glyph Weaver. Uh, this, this swamp. Forest planes, but I mean the opponent's got these hive t um, hives as well. Extinction events not great. Um, we could get Valky tick up, but then that's no good because of this. I think we just get Glyph Weaver and destroy everything except the Etherborn, and then hope to top deck. Because any creature we get just dies to Liliana, so the only options are something like that's a big value play like Escape, Valky, where we could go tick up, but then Valky just dies. I think we have to get the Glyph Weaver here. And then we'll destroy everything but the Aetherborn. The opponent doesn't currently have enough to activate the, the Hive. Okay, there's a land. So they're attacking for five here. But we've got some good draws that we can draw to. You know, Omnath potentially wins the game. Uh, another bring to light for, well, probably Omnath now. <coughs> oh, there's Omnath, so. <laughs> okay, so f uh, let's go Mountain Swamp, uh, Mountain Island, Plains. Forest. Play Omnath. Well, that's a good draw. Uh, yeah, we'll play the land. And then, as long as the opponent doesn't. I mean, they can attack us with the Hive this turn. See no way we're blocking here. This thing has Death Touch. Okay, Shieldred. Okay, so yeah, we're just going to go and get. Um, we could go and get Escape to the Wilds, I guess. Forest. Uh, mountain. So we could go and get Escape to the Wilds. We could go and get. I think it's just Valky. Yeah, just go and get Tybalt. Exile the Shieldred. Play the land. Maybe, I don't know, maybe we should have just gone and got something else, but... <laughs> um, I think we won't attack, because then we'll make the opponent spend all their mana. Spend all their mana to putting it into hive. Yeah, because now yeah they have to. Maybe we should have ticked up, but I think exiling the the shield right there. Okay, so opponent could have got um, two free damage at us there. We can't block the hive of the eye tyrant because it has menace. Yeah, that's fine. Still got good draws here. Well, Omnath's not too bad. Um, I think we'll attack now. Play the Shieldred. 
start gaining some more life. Obviously draining the opponent as well. Actual shieldred, what's this? Each opponent sacrifices a non-token creature or planeswalker. Exile it and it becomes huge. <laughs> okay, that's pretty scary. <laughs> I'll sacrifice that one. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty scary. We're going to need something good now. Okay. My well, escape to ours isn't bad. Um. One, two, three, four. Okay. So I think we'll go Omnath, which gains us more life. Plains, forest, Omnath. Okay, then we'll go we'll play the briefcase. So this hasn't got death touch, so we can attack here. If they flip this, destroy it up to one target creature or planeswalker. <coughs> so they can destroy our shield with here or the Omnath. Field of Ruin. Uh, let's go and grab a forest. Gain some life. Uh, mm, if this is Fatal Push, that's a problem. Oh, so they're not activating this though. Oh, another Gift to Leave the Born. Uh, yeah, there's no way of blocking. So they don't have... Okay, Elish Norn's interesting. So if we, okay, so we'll go escape to the wilds first. Two, three, four, five. Oh, not hitting a land there is really rough. <laughs> um. So I, but I guess we're kind of forced into binding because we can't deal with this if they transform it. So let's go binding. Hit this. I want to play the carry at it, but it's the same as this. So yeah, we'll just pass the turn here. Yeah, rough that we didn't find a land. Okay, still no blocks. We'll keep the citizen around in case they draw Liliana. We don't want to sacrifice either of these. Graveyard Trespasser. Okay. Okay, that's good. So we can go Elish Norn for this, 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 this this play our land which makes double which make omnath trigger twice due to elish norn then i think we just hmm, we could draw this hmm, why don't we draw three cards yeah that's probably better draw three cards oh we gain a little life from shieldred as well <laughs> And then how much do we care about the Graveyard Trespasser? Not that much, I don't think. Oh, we get to kill two things here, so. Um, let's go white. Um, I think we'll just get rid of both Aetherborns. Can now do some attacking. Yep. Okay, so opponent size have had enough. So what do we think here? Stay for stroke, maybe. We definitely want the bank busters. That new shield rip is quite scary. 
Definitely don't want slaughter games. Um, what else? We've got two more cuts. I don't think we want rest in peace. Um, Glyph Weaver's probably fine. Maybe Extinction Event can be a bit awkward. Maybe one carry at it in the face of Liliana. Let's try that. Right, what do we think of this? Um, don't really like Mulligan against Thoughtseize deck, but we haven't got any white mana to use this Chain to the Rocks. Hmm. No, we're going to Mulligan. So the lands aren't great. We'll keep this one and bottom the Fable Passage, I think. Thoughtseize? Okay, so do they take our ramp? No, it's taking Bring to Light this time. Okay, so let's play Stomping Ground. Pass the turn. Okay, Bank Buster is fine. Play the Temple Garden. Pretty standard play patterns. So this turn we'll play another carry at it, I think. Hopefully they haven't got Liliana. Okay, it looks like they haven't got a third land. Okay, they do now. And do rest. So draw another bring to light. Well, that's a pretty good draw. Um I think we'll cast that. Do we cast that? Yeah. Uses our mana effectively here. Pass the turn. The opponent can't edict us. Well, they can't edict us off Omnath anyway. They do rest. We've got some powerful spells. Land. Graveyard Trespasser. Sure. So we can't attack here. I mean, we could, um, but then it would mean trading potentially our Omnath for Bank Buster, which I don't know that we want to do. Um, although Omnath's done quite a lot here. So let's say they crew and block. Are we just okay with that? Like, I kind of think we are. Okay, they don't block, so we'll just go this. This. I guess we get got by Extinction Event, but I can't imagine the opponent brings in Extinction Event against us. Maybe though. Okay, they find a Hive. They can activate Castle Lock Thwain or Bank Buster here. Maybe we shouldn't have played the Karyatic because we had an extra one to discard to um, Fable. Hmm, well, Binding's interesting. I don't think so. I think we want the binding. So we'll just go add. How much does this cost? We've got Mountain Forest Plain. So we've only got three, so it costs three. So we can buy Gigantha. I guess. Hmm. We could attack. They block with this. Actually, that's not too bad. Yeah, I think we're happy to attack again here. You know, this is quite hard to deal with, so trading this is I think I'm I'm fine making this trade. Um now, do we want to just get the bank buster gone with this ley line binding? Don't think so. I think again we're happy just trading this. Try and preserve our cards. I think that's an okay trade. Almost drawn us a card and gained us some life. Oh, fatal push. I suppose they would have been potentially able to use that on 
on the Omnath anyway. So yeah, no blocks here from from us on the graveyard glutton. Depending on what we draw, we might double spell this turn. Okay, they hit the Omnath. No blocks. Phyrexian Arena. Okay. <laughs> and an Aetherborn. So yeah, going to use the mana here. I think we've got to hit the arena. I'm not too concerned with Aetherborn potentially. Triome. Okay, so let's just play Gigantha. Are we playing the Triome or no, I think we'll hold the Triome. If they attack here, we'll probably we'd let the Aetherborn go, but I would block the Trespasser with Gigantha. I've got one card in hand. Could have left the arena, I suppose. But yeah, I think it's much better to to not. Okay, don't know what the opponent's got in hand. Okay, so we draw some lands. So let's cycle first. Okay, Glyph Weaver. So I think what we do is we just play that. Yep. Yeah, we'll play that. And then are we attacking? So if we attack, if they double block, we just trade two for two essentially. So no, we, we'll wait until we'll wait until we can start copying the Glyph Weaver. So when we yeah, when we can start doing that it starts getting it starts getting really good. It plays a land, so probably one of the cards they drew. If they attack here, yeah. So yeah, we'll, this turn we'll probably just copy Glyph Weaver and start attacking with Gigantha. Might as well keep cycling. Uh, so we haven't got an island out yet, so we'll keep that one. Well, binding's pretty good. Okay, so now we'll just play this. Copy this. And then attack with Gigant. The, and the copy because if they double block Gigantha okay so do that so they don't gain the life give our things indestructible <coughs> I think we'll um, just wait on the binding Drawing cards, you know, in case they draw, they could draw a thought seize or something that might incentivize us to not, not binding right away. We're probably uh, binding the gifted Etherborn. Care more about the death touch and life link than the, the glutton. Well, they attack. I wonder if this means they've got a wrath of some sort. Actually, I think we're just not gonna. Like, we've got enough 
damage. Let's say they animate the hive to block. If they need, yeah. So we could just go binding the etherborn. No, because if they, I think no, I think we'll just let that happen. Okay, there's Shieldred, so yeah, glad we did that. And a Trespasser. Okay, so... Nothing to eat there. So, I th yeah, we're just binding... The Shieldred... This will shrink to a 3-2, I think, because they cast two spells. Ah, okay, they get rid of that. Maybe we should have played around Fatal Push there. Fable Passage, not the best. Um, I guess we slam in. Well, we are at nine is the trouble. They've got one creature to eat between them. So if we f go five, they can go attack, attack. They can attack with quite a lot, but we've got some blockers and we can also block with the reflection token. Yeah, I think we want to get an attack in here. Okay, draws a block, which is good for us. Well, yeah, that's not great. Maybe we should have played around Fatal Push. Don't know how we could have, though. I guess we wait to binding to our turn so we could make a copy of the... the thing. Okay, so we'll just copy this. Let me just go block here. I think we take two. Yeah, let's take two here. We've got some really good draws. Obviously, Omnath's amazing. Um, this, a bring to light. Um, Necromentia. Okay, what are you naming? Probably Omnath or bring to light. We can hard cast most things here. They are back up to 11 though. <laughs> so yeah, bring to light is gray. Omnath is gray. Okay, they exile all the Omnaths. Maybe we shouldn't be attacking with Gigantha there. Oh, Fable Passage again. Okay, no attacks this time. Yeah, I shouldn't have made that attack last turn. Although we, we're struggling to kill the eth gifted Etherborn. I think it just keeps drawing cards with Castle Lock Thwain. We don't have Omnath anymore, but we do have Bring to Light. Okay, Field of Ruin. Is, has the time come? No, I don't think so. Not just yet. I guess it has the time come to just uh, cash in the Gigantha, but then they start slamming with the Glutton, so... Like things like Courier's Briefcase are also a fine draw. Another Aetherborn. Hostage takers, pretty good. Oh, sign in blood. So the opponent does go to nine again. Okay, big draw step here. Um, I might actually just fetch just don't want to draw another 
another land. Um, let's go and grab an island. Ah, oh, to another basic land. Well, that's not great. We are slowly dying here. Our Omnaths are gone, but we do have a load of other good draws. Escape to the Wilds. What's that? You may thought seize. Two minus one minus one counters. So I guess they can kill Reflection with that. Which they probably do. So activate only as a sorcery. Yeah. They probably should do that. Let's get into the stage where they can just swing out. Okay, copy this. Not sure about Necromancer against us. But is it seven? If they're dead, land's quite a good tech. If they attack with the graveyard thing, we have to block. Is it time to just block here? Definitely like this. We get a three. No, I don't think it is. I wonder if it's time to cash in that though, take no damage. Really need something big here. Another Necromancer, okay. <laughs> Valky. We still have all the Brinter Lights though. Oh, actually, we've used two of them. When did we use two? Oh, they got Thought Seized, didn't they? <laughs> Okay, so let's see what we draw. Hostage taker's really good. Chained. What do we think about that? So we go chained here. Then we can go. Can they activate both of these? Is the problem. Oh, they got field of ruin as well. So we have to go and get basic mountain. How much are these to activate? Five, six, seven. So they can't activate both at the moment. Get rid of one of these. Although I suppose the car the graveyard trespasser can eat our caryatid now. Oh, okay, they find the other land anyway. So, yep, yeah. okay, well played, opponent. Um, so, yeah, that Castle Locked Wayne was, was really good. The Decrementor actually hurt us a little bit. Um, what do we change? So, I don't know if there's much we want to change. Could be, do we want Elish Norn out? I think. Hmm. Esnod doesn't do anything that amazing against them. We'll bring the Karyatic back in. I kind of want the Combat Celebrant. Um, but I think we'll just go with that. I think they've got probably too many kill spells for that. Maybe we're not meant to take out Elish Norn. Right, yep, we'll play, I have to play quite quick. Uh, this hand is awful, unfortunately, only one land. Um, oh, this is only two. Oh no, it is three. Uh, we'll keep this. Bottom the Valky. Like, it's got a load of powerful cards in it. Lead off with Xander's Lounge. And then we'll play Fable if we have to. But 
but um, we'd rather save it for Omnath. See, see what the opponent does. Gonna get thought seized. No thought seized this time. Okay, another fabled passage. So yeah, I am gonna play the fabled passage here. Now they've drawn another one. Wanna make sure that we cast this fable on turn three. Not just nothing from the opponent. Okay, so um island swamp mountain. So we've got plains or forest. Let's get plains, we can't get plains out of any of our other lands. Uh Caryatid's interesting, but I think we're just gonna go fable. Okay, see how that goes. Okay, three mana could be Liliana, I suppose. Murderous Rider, sure. Uh, do you want to discard? Yeah, we'll discard the carry at it here. Oh, that's no good, but let's go Omnath. Draw a card. Next time we can bring to light potentially. Well, yeah, hopefully we can bring to light. Field of Ruin. So Field of Ruin is push, go blank. Ah, okay, so I guess we discard Temple Garden Valky and then go Fable, yeah, I think it has to be that. If they don't have Thoughtseize as well, maybe we should have just kept the, please don't Thoughtseize, oh, probably should have kept the Valky. That's really annoying. Okay. So land, I guess we go fetch, go grab, I get an island, play the briefcase. Draw three cards. Attack for four. Okay, let's see what the opponent does. Plays a land. Shieldred. Oh, that's annoying. Escape to the Wild is a very good draw, though. Okay, so land, yes. Uh, land, yes. Binding the shieldred, bring to light. See what we get. Um, could just get Glyph Weaver. Actually, that's not that amazing here. So, Hostage Taker. Yeah, I'll just get the uh, the Glyph Weaver. Just attack with everything. Okay, um, we've got a spell to make everything indestructible, which is nice. Opponent can cast the Murderous Rider, I suppose. Okay, they kill that, which is fine. Hopefully they haven't got push as well. 
maybe we can just exile it actually so we've got five damage on board should be lethal yep okay well that's better grind them out there yeah that briefcase was pretty good see you for the next round